license Wisconsin professional credential fees cut. State addresses firefighting foam concerns. Sheboygan, one of Chicago Tribune's 10 best places to go in 2020. These and other local stories are coming up on this edition of Community News Review. This is Community News Review, a service of WSCS TV, news content provided by WHBL. I'm Maddie Fister, and this is Community News Review for Thursday, January 9th, 2020. Forecasters haven't yet issued watches, but all evidence points to the biggest storm of the season so far, beginning Friday night, reaching peak in intensity on Saturday night. Two rounds of precipitation are expected, and an initial inch or so of snow could fall by Saturday morning. After a lull, the most intense snows should then take place between noon, Saturday, and daybreak on Sunday. Early forecasters show potential 6 to 10 inches snowfall for Sheboygan County, accompanied by winds gusting as high as 45 miles per hour, causing difficult, if not impossible, driving conditions. Keep up with the forecast. A report releases on Wednesday shows local tr troubles related to clean drinking water. The Year of Clean Drinking Water report from Wisconsin Department of Natural Resources outlines issues of water contamination around the state. And the data shows that we have got problems locally. Specifically, lead surface lines were a problem in 51% of Kohler homes, 26% of Sheboygan and Sheboygan Falls homes, and 24% of Plymouth homes. State programs are in place to mitigate the eventual will replacement of those service lines and local governmental units have been addressing the issue. Meanwhile, nitrate contamination, primarily the result of agricultural application of manure and fertilizer, affects two and a half percent of private wells in Sheboygan County. The report outlines those and other problems and the steps being taken to achieve cleaner drinking water statewide. If your occupation requires a state license, your credential costs have gone down. Don Krim, Secretary De Designee of the Wisconsin Department of Safety and Professional Services, introduced a new fee structure that has resulted in lower fees for over three quarters of all licenses to be issued in the current biennium. With some credential holders in 170 different occupations, we'll see no increase and many others will have a reduction. As examples, the initial license fee for cosmetologists drops from $75 down to $11. Real estate appraisers will now pay $16 instead of $75. And the new fees actually took effect this last July, but most will see the savings during their annual re renewals. Total savings are projected to be nearly $10.5 million. A bill dealing with a class of hazardous chemicals advances in legislature. Commonly referred to as PFAs, the chemicals do not readily break down the, in the environment and have been linked to decreased fertility, thyroid disease, and some cancer. Products containing PFAs include firefighting foam, and a Senate committee approved a Republican bill by three to two party line vote that would ban such foams in most cases. Democrats of the Senate Committee on Natural Resources and Energy said that it doesn't go enough to protect the public. The Wisconsin Supreme Court will have to rule on a judge's order that could remove 234,000 people from the state voter rolls. The Wisconsin Court of Appeals declined to take on the case Tuesday, and the court said it will allow the state Supreme Court to decide the issue. There is a legal battle going on after a judge in Port Washington offered voters removed last month. A voter will decide next week whether to hold the Wisconsin Election Commission in contempt because it has not abided by that order. The commission deadlocked three to three on whether to remove the names immediately. 
And finally, Sheboygan is getting some love from the Windy City as the Chicago Tribune on Tuesday named its 10 places to go in 2020. The publications recommended of must-see Midwest destinations noted the upcoming Ryder Cup tournament at Whistling Straits as one of the many reasons to visit. The Kohler properties of Destination Kohler and the Kohler John Michael Kohler Arts Center, Wisconsin Concrete Park, and the new $40 million art preserve where are also mentioned in Sheboygan's reputation as the Malibu of the Midwest. For surfers made to the list of reasons to explore, as did our title of the Bratwurst Capital of the World. Sheboygan was the only Wisconsin entry in the article that included nine other destinations in Minnesota, Michigan, Illinois, Ohio, and Indiana. And that is our report for today. Join me again next time for more local news and information on Community News Review. News content for this program provided by WHBL in cooperation with WSCS-TV.